Have you ever noticed a narcissist doesn't yawn when you yawn? Both you and the narcissist are in a group and someone yawns. All of a sudden everybody is yawning because yawning is contagious except the narcissist. They are stone cold as usual with a flat face. There is no reciprocity whatsoever. But why? Does this have something to do with their narcissistic personality? Can not yawning or not catching a yawn be seen as one of the signs of this destructive personality type? Let's find out in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Today's topic is why doesn't a narcissist catch yawns? If that sounds interesting enough and you're eager to learn more with me, please make sure to subscribe because your subscription to the channel always helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. Before we begin, let's watch a clip together because that will add more to the context and then I will take this discussion further. Many narcissists do not have a yawning reflex, which means they do not yawn when other people around them yawn. But why? Why is it that way? Let me explain. You may be wondering, what does yawning have to do with narcissism? Well, a study done in 2015 suggested that people who score higher on psychopathy have lower chances to catch yawns. Why? Because there is an impairment in their mirror neurons. Mirror neurons help us to connect with others at the behavioral level. It helps us to know exactly what the other person is feeling or how they are experiencing their world. The fact that a narcissist is not able to reciprocate this response means that they are completely disconnected from you. They are so self-absorbed that they do not see beyond their shadow. They are stuck within their own structure of the ego. I always say, narcissists do not connect with you. You are seen as a source of supply, an extension of theirs. Your only job in their life is to give them attention, admiration, validation, uplift their ego. That's it. That is where you end. They do not form a bond with you. This study that was done in 2015 showed us that people who scored higher on psychopathy didn't seem to have a yawning reflex which just means that they didn't seem to catch a yawn when other people were yawning around them. Yawning is contagious. Maybe right now as you are listening to me, you're already yawning. Why? Because you're a feeler probably. If you did yawn, let me know in the comments. Back to the topic. These people do not feel. I always say they lack an emotional body. They don't have that. There is nothing that can connect with you. And that study seems to have proven the same. For example, when you cry, they either are disgusted by it, they think you're becoming a nuisance for them, or they are just there, flat-faced, stone-cold. Nothing seems to get them. Nothing seems to get into them. They're just there, sitting, witnessing, like a predator, staring at you, but not feeling anything at all. In the small video clip, I did also mention the impairment in the narcissist mirror neurons. Let's first try to understand what these mirror neurons are. Mirror neurons are brain cells which basically help us connect with each other, if I were to put it in simple terms. It helps us to socialize because we are social beings. And it just, these cells are responsible for regulating empathy, okay? A simple example of this could be, you catching a smile, you naturally smiling back, back at a person who's smiling at you, even if that person is a stranger. When they smile at you, your mirror neurons are fired. You kind of feel that smile in your brain and your lips widen. Your face shows the response that is felt in the brain. If it is a normal person, if it is a person who has working mirror neurons, that is exactly the social function of mirror neurons. But when it comes to a narcissist, it is hypothesized that their mirror neurons are impaired or in psychopaths as well. The mirror neurons are mostly located in the cortical area of the brain and that is where the empathy is regulated as well. When you feel something, nothing gets fired up here. This impairment is the possible cause behind their lack of empathy and this lack of yawning reflex. Yawning reflex being one of the many things they lack. They do not have any capacity to feel a bond, a connection. They don't even attach. People say, 
they have avo avoidant attachment. Well, in my opinion, they don't attach in the first place. They don't see the need to do so. If you are performing well in your job, they have assigned you, validating their ego, uplifting them, giving them the narcissistic supply. Why would they waste their resources on creating an attachment that could make them look weaker? in the whole game because for them this relationship is nothing but a part of this game they have to play long time or as long as they have to keep getting supply from you so they do not attach with people they do not cry they may pretend to cry but it's all simulated it's a simulation it's a feigned response it's not coming from an actual place of a felt sense emotion for you they do not care especially in the case of vulnerable narcissists, they might come across as very sincere, quite empathetic. You might feel they have this emotional self to them that is working, that is functional. And then that might fool you into thinking, maybe they are not a narcissist because they seem to have this awareness. They cry, they just feel like, it feels they are so sincere. They laugh with me, they cry with me. I feel so connected. It is nothing but a part of their facade. It is a sophisticated yet complex part of their narcissistic self. It's a way, a mutation that has occurred in the, the general form of narcissism, which is overt narcissism. And this adaptation makes it easier for them to acquire supply, which is why vulnerable narcissists who seem to reciprocate emotions and feelings are the most dangerous type. By the way, I have linked the research, the study I mentioned earlier in the description below for more details. In conclusion, we can say these people do not reciprocate normal responses that get triggered very naturally in social contexts. They just are full of themselves. And that is a proof of their grandiosity, their entitlement, and thinking they're above everyone else. I think it would be safe to assume these people are stuck in their reptilian brain, which is why they are so predatory. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it insightful. If you did, please share it with others. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, let the healing begin and continue.